My 39th and final Shattered Relics League of Legends video. Since the start of March, we've basically been holding rank 2, hunting that rank 1 position, and today's video is the last 100 hours or so worth of game time on the actual servers, working to make that dream a reality. And my league is pretty much over. I am at 8.5k Fossil Island Wyverns, or almost three times the drop rate for the Ancient Wyvern Shield. I can't even break top three without this, because I need this and the Vorecast Shield for 500 points in total. And I haven't even got started. Like, I've done 750 Vorecast, obviously, so I have got a, quite a few rolls at that. But it doesn't even make sense to go to Vorecast without having this Wyvern Shield confirmed, so... Yeah, I mean, GG, I guess. Like, I don't even know what to say. Alright, gone back to Hard Clues for a bit, because Wyverns are just depressing. We've got another 15 to open. Uh, I should probably check what we need, actually. Yeah, we need the Armadale page 1, the Bandos page 3, and the Zamorak page 2. Armadale page 1, I think we needed, yup. Yeah, we did, so we just need the Bandos page 3 and the Zamorak page 2 now. Armadale page 2 again. Bandos page 3, is that it? It is, okay, we just need the Zamorak page 2 now. Any chance? Guthic's page 2. Damn, okay, so we we're just hunting the Zamorak page now. Alright, I got 10 more caskets. I'm just hunting the Zamorak page 2, so if we could get that, that'd be sick. Um, I don't know if I do get it, if it's worth going to 300 hearts, but we gotta see if I get it. Two Unholy Blessings, Ancient page 2, or Armadale page 2, whatever that is. Zamorak page 3, damn. Damn it, okay, yeah, we keep going. It might be worth going to 300 if we go drown this. Okay, 10 more caskets here. Zamorak page 2 hunting. What's that? Sardoan page? That's the wrong god. Ancient blessing? That's not a page. Sardoan page 3. Guthic's blessing. This or that. That or this. Okay. At 190 hearts, still no, uh, what's it called? Zami blessing. Zami blessing? Zami page 2. Alright, 10 more caskets, which will get me to 200. We're hunting the Zamorak page 2 still. Sardoan page. Bandos page. This or that page. That or this page. Armadil page. Bandos page. Sardoman page, not the Zamorak page, so we are going to go to 300 regardless now. Hopefully we get in the next 100, we should. If we don't, then I genuinely will quit, but we should, and then we will also get the 300 hard toss. Uh, if I go quick, it'll take me like 5 to 6 hours, I probably won't, so it could take me, I don't know how long. 10 more caskets, hunting Zamorak page 2. These are not the pages we are looking for. Oh, what's that, ancient page? These are not the pages we are looking for. Zamorak page 2, we're done, let's go! Okay, nice. Let's go. Those are the pages we're looking for. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to keeping it clean down there. Whether you've got a DDS or a D2H, they're perfect for your weapon. They hooked me up with a bunch of stuff before and they just sent me another package, which includes their lawnmower 4.0. It is both cordless and waterproof, so you can use it in the shower and it goes even harder than the last one. It also has these ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which prevents any nicks and cuts and can easily be replaced so you can go to town with confidence. You can charge it wirelessly with some crazy science that I'm not smart enough to explain. You just have to put it in the wireless charging dock and the LED lights on the front will show you the battery life and you can get up to 90 minutes on a full charge. This upgraded lawnmower 4.0 trimmer also has a nice multifunction on and off switch which has a travel lock on it so it'll never turn on by mistake in your suitcase while you're traveling. It even allows you to customize what length you want to trim to with four different trimmer guard options and thanks to Manscaped, I now have two trimmers. One for up here and one for down there. So join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with amazing products such as the lawnmower 4.0, the ball deodorant, the ball toner, and the ball wipes. They make it easier than ever to take care of your pair. So get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use my code DITTER at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. All right, let's fill all these books up real quick. And that is six completed god books. I'm not going to equip them just yet for the points, but it is nice to get rid of some bank space. Uh, I'm going to go make my way back over to Wyverns, and then we'll finish up doing the 90 hard clues after that, just while I do, while I eat and chill a bit. And then we'll go back to the hard clues, because I think it's worth to do 90 more for the 125 points. Um, yeah, let's see if we go to 10k Wyvern kills without the shield. Okay, 90 more caskets does get me to 100. Let's equip every god book first for 250 points. A master toss done, 71,770 now. Now let's open all of these hard caskets. Now, there's only points we really get are from opening them, unless we somehow pull a full gilded set, which is a 50-point toss, which would be insane. Let's get open. Um, 
anything cool yet. Master, I should probably bank these every now and then. But yeah, all I'm really looking for are gilded pieces, which is a bit of an ask, I won't lie. It's a bit of an ask. Nothing yet. Just spam open a little bit more. Nope. Nope. Probably should pick some of this shit. To be honest, I don't even care to keep all this stuff, so I'll just leave it, let it drop to the floor because I feel like it's slowing me down. Come on, any gilded pieces? Not looking very likely, is it? Alright, 25 more to open. Okay, unfortunately no, what's it called? Unfortunately no, what's it called? Unfortunately no Gilded Pieces at all, but I did get the Transform emote, so that is 125 points right there, I'm pretty sure. Unless I did this for nothing. Yep, 125 points, 71,895 now. Transform into Yuri, I didn't even know that's what it, that's what it meant, to be honest, it's pretty cool. 9.7k Fossil and Wyverns. I'm gonna go do 8 Infernos now to finish the 20 Infernos, but it is what it is. Is that a zero set? It is. Easy game. Good fight. The f the floor is lava. I don't even know what I just did. Oh, I didn't I didn't have a single melee or dig, bro. I'm so good at the game. I'm not tagging these sets. The fact that I've another set has spawned is criminal. Uh, 14 infernos. There we go. That's how you do a GMAL, by the way. Finally, bro. That's how you GMAL a set. Oh, I didn't attack the Major. I should probably do that. Forgot about that one. Which KC is this? I guess we're about to find out. 15. Okay, five more to do. I'll be on Ancients this time so I can Blood Barrage. Let me get that Infernal Cape, too. And this one, on, these, on either side, is where you can attack the healers and not get attacked by all of them. But that's 16 out of 20 KC now. Do I want the taco? Sure. Forty-five oh five. Are you on task? I fucking hope so. Oh. Is that it? KC number 18, we got two more to do. I'm not attacking the set. So my 19th KC, the last one before the 20th KC task, you know, this little set spawns, blah, 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 blah. I'm doing this all on stream, by the way, so I'm reading the chat while I'm doing Zuck. So when I get out, I don't realize that I have a little new pet in my collection. The little, the little nibbler guy. Pretty cool. 19 KC Zuck pet. I'm only gonna do one more KC, so that's pretty sick to get. Let me tweeter that. Actually, how many pets do I have? One hundred twenty-five points. Defeat the Inferno twenty times. Over seventy-two K. And we got the pet on the last one. We're gaming. I am now officially over ten thousand wyverns dry for the shield. 12.2k false law and wyvern kills now we're over four times the drop rate uh the time that i've wasted here well uh wasted is uh, depends how you see it really but i will say wasted uh has basically thrown every every aspiration out the window um these obviously this is a drop that everyone else in the top five has i don't know how many times i've said that they also all have the dragon fire ward from vorkath 2 which i've only done 750kc out of um like this is a this is a drop I basically needed to win with how how long the league is gone and the extension and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm just showing you guys my kill count.
Okay, I'm at 12,351 Wyvern kills. This is basically all I've been doing for the past three days, apart from those hard clues and infernos. Haven't gained a single point otherwise. Haven't worked on anything otherwise. I've only done the 750 Vorkath kills as well. I'm going to get started on the Vorkath kills now. I haven't had any luck here at the Wyverns. I'm four times the drop rate for a 1 in 3.3k shield. I'm not just going to stop going for it, obviously, but I am going to switch it up because the second part, of, that's not even the full part of the plan. The second part of that plan is to go to Vorkath and get the Dragonfire Ward from there, which is super rare too, but something everyone else in the top five has. So it's just like, I don't know. It's I, I have to do this. Uh, I'm not going to just not like go for other slower guaranteed points now that I only have 48 hours or 40, 46 hours left at the time of this recording. I could just switch it up and try and maintain whatever rank I have now, but I've sunk so much time into this shield that I'm just gonna go switch it up, go do some Vorkath. Maybe my luck there will be different and then I'll go back to Ancient Wyverns. I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna do anything else if I don't get this done. If I if I spend the next two days going for both these shields and I don't get it and I end on seventy two thousand points, it is what it is. Alright, let's do this. What a troll dude. What an absolute troll. I just before I before I make the statement, I wanna make sure I'm correct. Yup. Both of these are the same drop rate, the Draconic Visage and the Skeletal Visage, and I get the Draconic Visage at 999 KC. Ugh. That is, that's such a troll, man. That is such a troll. Alright, 1000 KC, I'm gonna stop there for now, that's actually super depressing, man. Been doing this straight for 4 hours just to get the drop rate already gone, and that's the same drop rate as what we need. Um, we're gonna go back to Wyverns and go dry there, because at least I don't have to use my brain there. 12.3k Fossil Island Wyverns, we're gonna go back to that and go dry there. Around 30 hours until the end of the league, I'm at 13.4k Fossil Island Wyverns. I could have four shields by now if I was on rate. I have zero. Uh, I think I'll go switch it up to a bit of Vorkath again, maybe do another 100, 250 kills or so, and probably get the wrong shield again. 13.6k Wyverns, now we'll go back to Vorkath for a bit. Okay, I've done like another 250 kills, I've gone to 1251kc. Probably do a couple bit more than whenever I die watching Perp stream. I'll go back to Wyverns and try my luck there. As it stands, I've got like 25 hours until the end of the league, and I've been doing this stuff for like the past four days, getting zero points. It's actually been a lot of fun. Oh my god, okay, finally, dude, finally some luck. This this honestly doesn't mean anything in the long run, but I'm just happy to see something, man. Skeletal Visage, 1252kc, done with Vorkath now. Now we just need to kill Wyverns for that Ancient Wyvern shield. Obviously, we're almost at 14,000 kills for that. Once we get that, we get 500 points in total. This is 125 points right now, but I can't even be bothered to make it right now. Like, I'll just go to Wyverns. I don't need the shield for anything. Equipping it does nothing for me right now. Uh, yeah. Let's go see if we have to kill another 14,000 Wyverns. 15,000 Fossil Island Wyverns. What a joke. What an absolute joke. I, I'm, I have no words. 16,011 Wyvern kills we have, approximately 8 to 9 hours before the servers get offline. I assume I'm just going to be here till then, so, yeah. Less than 2 hours to go until the league's end, and I get the Wyvern Visage, bro. What a troll game. What an absolute troll game. The server is literally shutting off in 2 hours. This doesn't even change my final rank or anything, I don't think. Obviously, I'll just go and try, try and spoon something now. But that is actually so troll, bro. Let's check my log. Six, 17,000 Fossil Island Wyvern kills. 17,000 Fossil Island Wyvern kills this took me. The drop rate is 1 in 3.3k. I spent the last five days here getting no points, and I finally got it. I don't, e I don't even know what to say, man. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm like, yeah, cool, 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 I guess. We got two hours to go do something else. 17,000 kills later, and an hour 50 until the league's end, and we finally get the Wyvern Visage. That's the Dragonfire Award made now. I'll go make the Wyvern Shield now as well. I'm not going to equip it just yet, in case I can spoon something else in the last two hours, which is not seeming likely. Okay, and those are the two shields. I'm not going to equip it yet. Even if I get the Eternal Glory or anything else that's worth 250 points, I still don't even move up a rank. I'd have to spoon an Eternal Glory and, like, something else within the next two hours to even... You know, I'm just happy that the 17,000 kills went somewhere. All right, I have eight more rolls at this Dragonstone armor piece that everyone else in the top five got, so let's see if I can get it. Nope, we got like maybe two more rolls or three more rolls though. Three more rolls at this. We got some bra sharks. And it is all over. GG. Just gonna spend this last hour and a half trying to get an Eternal Glory. It's like one in 8k, and the Wyvern Shield is one in, what's it called? Like, 3.3k. So if I can get that on Drake, there's probably no chance to get this on Rate, but... You know, we'll try it out anyway, see if we can test our luck, see if we can get some other nice points at the end. Bro, that is actually so troll. I got the Eternal Glory too. 
There is an hour left until the league's end, and I got the Eternal Glory. That is insane RNG. I've maybe done, like, 10 inventories, 11 in inventories or so. That is actually insane RNG, but the 17k Wyverns doesn't really give room for this to mean anything. But that is actually just, that is ridiculous that I've got this. So now I have 750 points banked. We now have an hour left to somehow pull a golden tent, which is 1 in 120, 1 in 20k for an also 250 points. Can it be done? I mean, theoretically, yes. But we'll see what happens. Alright, I'm gonna call it here. I've got 10 minutes left. I just want to equip every everything and then use these last crystal keys. Let's wear the ancient wyvern shield. Wear that. Okay, and I just jumped up to what? 72, uh, 75,220. Wear that as well. 72,770. Just like that. I have four more crystal keys to go for this dragonstone armor piece. Let's see if we can make it happen. If I got this task minus the eternal glory five days ago, the draconic shield, equip every draconic shield for 250, the ward for 125, the ancient wyvern shield, which took me 17,000 kills for, I definitely could have made a really good contention for rank one, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can pull this dragonstone armor piece. Nope, but I'm gonna have two more rolls at it. Okay, the last two rolls of my life for this Dragonstone armor piece. Any luck? Oh, I'll have another roll, actually. Oh, I'll have two more rolls, but still no luck. Okay, and that is a wrap. 72,770. What it could have been. What it could have been. Okay, I can't exactly get everything out of my inventory, but this is everything in my bank valued at over a mil. So yeah, there's a lot of raids things in there. The Bulwark, the Pagasians, the Anguish, the Ancestral Hat. Obviously, I got duped Tebos, bunch of other random stuff. The Ring of the Gods, Tyrannical Rings, Full Dragon. All this stuff I assume you've seen over the course of the video. This is what we're wearing. The Eternal Glory we just got. We got the Sanguine Scythe. We got the Holy Grazi Rapier. We did, we did 200 tobs and could not complete the Justice set. Just another bit of our RNG. We got the Crossbow, the Twisted Bow. We finally got these shields as well. Um, I guess we can take a quick look at my collection log too real quick. But yeah, this is just my, what my inventory looks like. A little bit scuffed, I apologize. Never got the Ancestral top to complete the Ancestral set either, which is 250 points and 100 CMs. Never got a Twisted Ancestral kit. Never got a Dragonstone armor piece. Just countless, countless points that I missed out on. Uh, let's just go check out this collection log. Sire completed. I do have the pet. That reminds me, actually, I do really quickly want to show the pets that I have. So I got the Supreme, 2KC, Grador I got last league, Mole I got last league, Kraken I got last league and rolled again. This league, Chompy Chick I got, the Venonatus pet I got this league, I got the Orphan last league, I got the Heron last league, I got the Scotus this league. I got the Nibbler, obviously, in this video at 19kc. I got the Lil Zik in this league, and I got the Nightmare in the last one. If my mass is correct, 4, 7, 10. I have 12 pets in total. Now we'll just use these last 3 minutes to look at the collection log for whatever we can. So I'm just going to play the collection log in the background, and before I start going full Cryman mode, I do just want to speak to you guys directly. While I am, like, super disappointed in myself in this final video to what has been a great series, like, I wish I could have given you guys something better, we ended up falling from rank 2 all the way to rank 6 due to the past 4 to 5 days of Wyverns. To get this close and throw it all away really does suck, but I still want to give a big fat thank you to all of you guys. My growth over the past two months has been insane. Not even DMM compares to this, and without it, I wouldn't have this guy. This 100k plaque. This is all you. I honestly don't know when I was in high school making shitty PK videos, getting made fun of by my friends, that I would ever have one of those. And I do. So thank you guys. So yeah, this series has done incredible things for me and I can take some solace in the fact I'm the only guy up here on this leaderboard who has made 39 videos, each with anywhere between 24 to 48 hours worth of progress. It really does suck I wasn't able to get rank one or even hold top three for one of the medals, but sometimes things aren't meant to be. There are countless people, however, who without this, who without them, the series and myself would be nowhere, especially on this league, but I'm still gonna try and count them regardless with the first one being my boy Maz. He's the one who got me into the leagues in the first place. He convinced me to try something new and play the Trailblazer League last time, and he held my hand through it, helped me with some of the dumbest questions possible. I didn't even know that you could make Slayer Rings, like you couldn't unlock the ability to make Slayer Rings last league until like 20 days in, and he told me about it. I was spending 75 points per Slayer Ring, and this league was no different. He helped me out a ton. He actually got ranked 2 on this league, and he, along with Wolfie, are probably the only people on this leaderboard who are more unlucky than me. He is that good that despite how bad his RNG was, he still got ranked too, and I have no doubt in my mind that if he had Woman Kisser's RNG, just the way he played, just how efficient he was, he would have blown him out of the water and won by landslide. 
All respect to Woman Kisser or Greg, though, he played a great league, and it's not his fault if he had good RNG. Even without it, I'm sure he would have been in top three contention, but congratulations nonetheless on rank one. I'm going to link Maz's channel in the description. I'm not sure if his final video is out yet, but please go subscribe to him and show him some love in the comments of that video because he really, really does deserve it. His RNG was fucking horrendous. Next up, my boy 9-2, the Fallen Warrior, rest in piss. The first to 15k points. He helped me loads on this league to the point where he was literally writing me pace spin guides for the days where I wasn't sure what to do, not knowing what my next tasks were. He was rank 1 by a landslide, but he got banned about a month in for using Neverlog while he slept. I see some people flaming him and trying to discredit his first to 15k points, but I was literally up with him every hour of every day while he grinded that. He did the exact same thing last league. He was... Uh, first to 15k points by 3k points i think last time this time he was only 1.1k points ahead of solo mission and there's there's just no way he slept until 15k if he slept would never log on uh on the road to 15k he just wouldn't have got it in time like sleeping is inefficient on the road to 15k you can choose to believe me or not i don't really care he helped me so much and without him none of these videos would have been possible either him and maz are like my dads of league so yeah i wanted to thank him either way and just remember, if you don't have a friend who's ever cheated on this video game, you're either lying or you don't have friends. Next up are my fucking boys, Eli, Abyss, Eviescape. They're some of my closest content creators in this community. Their support over the past two months on pretty much everything was a big factor of why I was able to keep doing this. Jake and Abyss are also literally my number one fans, whether it's a first comment on one of my videos or one of the first likes and retweets on my Twitter. Those little guys always got my back. I just want to shout them up. Now, for the people who actually helped me directly with the gameplay, whether it was teaching me CV CMs or slaving tobs for hour a day, hours a day with me while I went 200kc drive for my scythe. Without any of these guys, this shit wouldn't have been possible. Jinami was doing tobs with me a couple of days in when no one else was ready, and him and Hootie both came through to help out me and Maz and 92 with the sub 3-minute nightmare kill, so big shout out to them. Hootie also did countless tobs and helped me out with the CAs even towards the end. Shout out my horny little friend. All the guys from all speeds, I never even made a final video last league because of how burnt I was, but I just want to say thank you to McNeil, especially for last league, who literally attempted 40 tobs with me in Maz last league in a single day, which was not human. I didn't get as much out of him this league, but I think after what I put him through last time, I think that's more than fair enough. Captain Divine for all their help as well. Those guys are some fucking real ones. And then there are all the guys from the Rank 1 Discord who took me in as a refugee and started doing tobs nonstop with me for like five, six days straight while I got my scythe. Literally like 20 to 30 tops a day. I can't name you all because I'll give myself brain damage, but you guys are some fucking real ones. But Sneaky, big shout out to you for literally holding my hand through the farming guild while I set up my farming contracts. And shout out my boy Brett Dog for helping me with that as well. I literally didn't think I was going to get 150 done and I just kept procrastinating it. I don't know why. Lastly, a big shout out to Perp's Horrendous League of Legends gameplay for keeping me entertained. And both the Zoe Pancakes and the Lopsy livestream. Despite Lopsy's stream being the reason I lost two Infernal Capes. I shit you not when I say this, I played the game for over a thousand hours in the past two months, and without everyone I just mentioned, and probably more who I missed, it literally wouldn't have been possible. So, big fucking thank you. Now that we've got the thank yous out of the way, we can let the crying commence. 17,000 Wyverns later, we ended with 72,770 points. Over the course of the two months, I missed out on a Dragonstone armor piece, which everyone else had, which was 125 points. I went extremely dry on my scythe to the point where I had to do 200 tops, shout out rank 1, which was way more Casey than anyone in the top 10 apart from Nuppy who did 300 without a scythe, but she also spooned both corpse shields in under 250 KC for 500 points, spooned the internal glory for 250 points, spooned the tench for 250 points, spooned the vorecast shield in under 750 KC, as well as spooned the wyvern shield, which unlocks 500 total points. So I, I mean, I think she would have taken that trade, I would have taken that trade. And with my 200 tobs, I never even got a full Justy set completion, which was 250 points. I did 100 CMs and never got a Twisted Kit piece for 125 points. I never got an Ancestral top to complete the set for 250 points, which Woman Kisser obviously got in 50. My 500 Corp kills only got me the one shield, and Woman Kisser, Nuppy, and Tom all got both of them in under 250. I never even got a Mimic worth 50 points, which I did when I did like 60 Elites and 15 Master Clues. And yes, I did double check. I did turn them on. And all the time I spent at Wyverns going five times the drop rate as uh, up until literally two hours before the league ended meant I never even really got to start the Fazani's Nightmare Grind. I would have gotten 125 points from the 250 Nightmare Kill Count and 375 points from a Nightmare Staff and an Orb with average RNG. I also didn't have time to get full Infinity worth 125 points and the 25 Autumn Squirts for 50 points. I also wasted countless hours getting 5,000 Shaman Kills for the 1 in 6, 1 in 1.6k Dragon Warhammer drop. Can't really remember other things off the top of my head. But all in all, RNG is RNG, and 
give me a couple days i will have forgotten all of this but i am i am i am super disappointed and i don't want to lie to you guys i am sorry to you guys i wouldn't i wasn't able to get it done despite getting so close if the league ended like two weeks ago as it was initially meant to i would have been ranked two 600 points behind woman kisser but at the end of the day, it do be what it do be. I fucking love you guys for all the support this league. And for one final time, for the culture, for the 3,000 kids I've got, please help me feed them. And for the end of this league, let's do it big for the algorithm. Scroll down right now. Subscribe to the channel. If we could hit 115k subscribers off this video, it would be insane. Like the video. I've never had a video hit 10k likes before as far as I know. But if there's ever a video to do it, it'd be this one. And leave me a comment. I do genuinely read every one of them. And the last video had some of the most supportive and wholesome comments I've ever read. It meant the fucking world. I don't know what's next, but at the end of the day, I am rank one in your hearts. I am the people's champion of this league. And I am going to take a little dedication and take care of myself for a bit. But I will see you guys one day soon with more content. Thank you guys once again.